patience hebrews 10 36 patience hebrews 10 36 please read with me everybody one to read for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of god ye might receive the promise so patience will reveal the will of god for you and then when you find that will and do it you will now obtain the promise can i tell you it is in this area of patience that i submit to you that satan has cheated many believers because there is a narrative we have been given in the body of christ that the moment it is god he will speak expressly hmm. go and ask anybody who has done anything worth the while for god go and ask abraham how long he waited for the will of god to manifest this is, I, I need to bring us into this understanding because most people do not understand what the Bible calls the patience of faith. Are you learning? Patience. In, in Hebrews 6 and verse 15, Hebrews 6 and verse 15, it says, and so, after he, the he being Abraham, had patiently endured everybody say patiently endured one more time say patiently endured after he had patiently endured he obtained the promise he had patiently endured he obtained the promise there are many reasons why sometimes in the life of the believer it may take a very long time for the will of God to be revealed to you. And I'm going to tell you this. I will teach you why. So that you will understand. Because many of you, some of you are in this season right now. It is a very difficult thing to live in the silence of God. Very difficult. But the glory that follows his season of silence is, is the glory that excels. Is someone hearing me now many times people send me text messages and if i have the privilege of meeting a few people they'll say apostle i've been praying and asking god should i stay in abuja should i travel to another place i've been asking god should i quit my job and do ministry and it looks like he's not saying anything i have the heart to obey i study my bible some of them have gone for dry fasting some of them went maybe to you know uh, prayer places prayer mountains and all of that and took out time to stretch and at the end of it they live disappointed and they are wondering what is all this now is it that god cannot speak every time god is silent beware of the voice you hear every time god is silent beware of the voice you hear because when your desperation to hear and receive the will of God gets to the roof Satan will come and cash in on that moment and appear as an angel of light Satan can even use I wish I had time I would have shown you an encounter between a young prophet and an old prophet in the Bible have you read that story that God gave a young prophet direction clearly you go and do this and face your front return back don't turn to the left and to the right and an old prophet called him let me tell you this I respect the fathers of faith and I respect you know my honor for the body of Christ I am a strong advocate of honor but can I tell you when it has to do with the mysteries of this life and destiny sometimes you need to be careful experience can destroy experience is powerful but experience is only powerful if it is vetted by the wisdom of God there are many people in the name of experience they have been derailed away from the path of destiny experience is powerful but it must be guarded are we together if experience is powerful how does God do new things because when God is doing a new thing there are new things that have never been experienced before don't get me wrong we must place value on experience and the wisdom of those who have gone ahead of us 
but you must be careful to not idolize that wisdom as the standard because God is still doing new things there are many things sincere people would tell you that is inconsistent with God's program for your life it does not mean they are wrong they are just being very sincere the old prophet caused the young prophet to make a decision that ended up destroying him let me tell you sincerely as a man of God and with all due respect to the body of Christ if I were to listen to and do everything I've been told by everyone my life would have been in shambles by now not because I'm, a, I'm maybe you know I am doing something bad but simply the misdirections that have come from sincere people you must obtain grace you must obtain stamina from God to be insistent on his will there are times that haven't done all all you need to do is sit down until his word comes let me tell you how the word of God comes you read your Bible in the fifth day of the fifth month the word of the Lord came that means before it arrived it was not there this is where the stamina and the maturity of a believer is tested your ability to remain in the last place of his instruction and stay there even when God does not make sense many times when I was in Zaria sincere people would tell me apostle this kind of anointing you have there are so many things you can do do this do that and sometimes I laugh sincerely I even take notes sometimes and I go back and ponder on it but every time I'm about to consider it to that that do not play with that peace factor in your heart. If that peace factor in your heart is not there, be careful. It is not there for nothing. I assure you, it is a potent check of the spirit. Are we together? A gentleman traveled to a particular nation because someone invited him to be an assistant pastor. He didn't pray he didn't hear anything it was a joy to him and you know the way the devil works these things one two he got visa and he was so happy he used that as a confirmation you will read in the book of revelation that jezebel also gives favor jezebel can give favor can make something that god is taking you slowly but satan can bring it sharp sharp and you say i know it i knew that this was and you step into something that destroys you Everybody say the patience of faith. One more time, say the patience of faith. Look up, please. Now, I'm, it's because I've said it before, that's why I have the liberty to say it. For many years, many years, and I'm just saying this to inspire you. For many years, God would not allow me to buy a car. I felt that I needed it in ministry because the burden of mobility and movement, and it was not that the resources were not there. I will never forget one time when I went to a car stand. I had again talked about the money. I was going to pay for it when the Holy Spirit spoke to me. The people in the car stand insulted me and they said, you don't have money and you came here, you know, bragging and all of that. And I just went, how do I tell them God prohibited me? Are we together? There are lots of witnesses in this place. For many years, as Koinonia was ongoing, it was a bike that I was using it was not a product of luck there were many gifts of cars that people would bring for me and I would say no the Holy Spirit would say no pray for them and give them back okay God so what is the name of what you are doing with me <laughs> I, I really mean it I'm just using that as to teach you something how can I be going for a miracle service, winning souls, casting out devils, doing all of that? I go for an external ministration. There's a convoy carrying me. I return back home and I'm climbing a bike. I, I remember one time the protocol department, they, I think a woman donated a car or something and they came to pick me. I said, whose car is this? I rebuked them. I said, don't you ever inconvenience anybody. They are not here to come and drive me. They're here to, they, they came to listen to the word of God eventually one of our, our dear ones started using his car you know to move me around and i was saying lord what is the meaning of this 
I mean, even if it's for responsibility's sake. Patience. 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 Can I tell you? Don't hurry seasons. You will miss the season you are rushing out of now. You will miss the season you are rushing out of. I remember the day I was preparing, I think it was a koinonia service, a miracle service, I do not know. When the protocol came to knock my door, they know that once I lock myself like that, you don't disturb me. And they knocked the door and I said, who is that? I said, please, we have a message for you. From who? Please, leave me alone. I'm preparing for the service. Sir, a woman said the Lord instructed her to bring a car to bring for you. I said, from where? so 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 please this is this and finally that peace that for many years my heart just went down i said lord is this car for me or is it for someone else and the lord said no you'll take it that was the first time god allowed me listen carefully i'm teaching you this so that you will learn you there are many testimonies we can share but there are two reasons why i don't share testimonies because number one most people are not prepared to listen number two some of these my precious social media people um, who promote my messages their interest is they caption nonsense and let me use this as a word of caution i love all those i know that god has used my teachings to bless many people and i'm very happy proposals have come withdraw all your teachings from all these people no, i said mm -mm. if god is blessing them with it and they are blessing the nation show be it my only concern is make sure that you caption things and present the message in a balanced way that bless people don't be so obsessed to drive traffic that you don't care whether you misrepresent what we're saying so let that be a word if you know anyone who is part of these guys with love don't go and abuse anybody but with love tell them more than just generating income from this make sure that the message you are presenting is edifying not destroying you see the reason why we don't put this because some of them will write nonsense because they know that once they see joshua selman there people will just come you must fear god and some of you are here so listen very carefully are we together be disciplined over what you are doing if it's for the kingdom you can you can eat from the altar while you are serving the altar diligently but by the time your desire for money supersedes your desire to have people blessed you are doing something else not ministry are we together so back to my story do you know i stand by god to tell you i passed that vehicle like that and i did not even look at it for once it was when we were done with the miracle service i returned back home after counseling very late in fact already into the morning that was when i went and i opened it it was a sienna and i said god so this is it i was happy no 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 i wasn't I, I was happy i was just saying so this is how you walk so what was the whole goal and among the many things god told me was that i put you through this sacrifice so that you will mentor young people to teach them that success is not just in getting things I constrain you to help people know that the spiritual content within you that you can excel even without fighting for some of these things do you know let me tell you this from that day till forever what God has done by reason of that sacrifice to wait I will only give God the glory here on earth and even afterwards Are we together? Be careful when impatience begins to destroy your life. The all-wise God knows how to direct your life per time, per season. For some of you, you will be surprised. You have a good certificate. You have everything. And for five, six years, there's no job and everybody is around you who has the power to give you the job they will even make promises sometimes it's not an attack 